Hey everybody, uh, Sebastian here once again, and I'm here to give you a quick guide on how you can automate uh, simple tasks on your Panorama or Palo Alto Firewall uh, using ServiceNow. So let's jump into the lab environment itself. So in this lab, we're going to have a ServiceNow, and inside of our environment, we're going to have a Panorama deployed here on our on-prem device and we're going to have this mid server deployed in our infrastructure and what is going to happen is this panorama device is going to be managing the actual uh, vms that are hosted in this web database and api so when a user fills out a service now catalog they're going to specify the name of the server they're going to specify the ip and they're going to specify the specific uh, tag group that that server belongs to. And once that order is added to the cart and approved by the security team, the management team, change management team, um, what will happen is ServiceNow Flow Designer is going to initiate the REST API call or it's gonna execute the REST API flow call from the mid server that's located inside of our on-prem data center. It's gonna send a REST API call to our panorama uh, for it to execute the configuration that is required. So if we take a look at our environment, um, here we have ServiceNow Flow Designer. Flow Designer is this nice and easy way for us to be able to build API flows. Um, and in here we have our ServiceNow catalog. Very simple. Um, really what we're gonna be doing is adding a server name, an IP address, and specifying which of the address groups we want this server to belong to. This is just an easy way for um, application teams or DevOps teams or engineering teams to be able to update the Palo Alto device through um, automation and create some type of process uh, or incorporate into the existing approval change management process that we have in uh, many enterprises. And then here we have our Panorama device where we have our three address groups deployed in a dynamic um, type with the actual matches in here and right now we have no addresses so let's let me demo you how this looks like and then we can go through the flow um, to show you what's possible in here so let's make this bigger so uh, first thing we're gonna do let's set up an API server so we're gonna give it a name API server 01 we're going to give it an IP address and we're gonna specify that this belongs to our API server. We're gonna click on order. So the first thing what's gonna happen in this flow, if we jump in here, once we make that order, a change request is being created for us. Um, and in this simple kind of process, then we're gonna ask for an approval. So if we open up the uh, request here and we scroll down, we can see the rhythm number has been created for us. We can click on that and here we have lots of information. This is just a dev account. So, you know, in a real world production environment, you'll see your team um, names in here. We specify the variables that are being changed or requested to be changed. And then we have uh, an approval system. Of course, we want someone to approve it to verify that this is the actual deployment that's allowed, um, be it through a team lead management, peer review, et cetera. Um, we're going to click on that. Here's the description once again and what's being changed. So I'm going to approve this workflow. And as I approve this workflow, if we log into our panorama right away, boom, the API server is deployed in here. And the API server is automatically added to our um, address group itself. So through Flow Designer, what we did is we built that catalog. So this front page, um, we go back here and this catalog itself, 
then in this catalog, we're just grabbing the variables, name, IP, and tag. Then we're creating a change ticket. We're asking for approval in here or a rejection by right now. It's just a system administrator, but it could be a specific team. And then we're actually using this flow designer, which is super clean. And this allows us to do a REST API call towards a device. So let's take a look at how this looks like. Um, very straight and forward, we're adding an input of name, IP address, and tag. Then if we expand this actual REST API call is, we have our credentials that are stored inside of ServiceNow, uh, or they can be stored in HashiCorp Vault. Right now we just have our IP address of the Panorama in here. We're selecting our specific mid servers that are inside our data center. And then we're making a REST API call to objects addresses for the shared location. And then every time you see this type of bubble, it really allows us to drag and drop variables into here. So it makes kind of coding and programming very easy using Flow Designer. We're doing a post method, we're creating a name, content is uh, content types application JSON. And here's the body um, of the configuration that once again, those inputs that were given to us at the beginning, they're literally just drag and drop into the environment. Um, so if I delete this and I want to put a name, I'm literally just dragging and building my deployment uh, and my configuration. And, and that's really it. And once we save and publish this, this allows us to execute um, more changes automatically on our Palo Alto device. So if we go back to our service catalog and we want to add a web server, 03, we'll put in an IP address of a, a web server. We're going to specify which dynamic address group this belongs to. We're going to click on order now. Same process as before. Uh, request uh, was initiated. Uh, Rhythm, a new Rhythm ticket was created. So everything is tracked, logged. And this ticket specifies all the information. As the system administrator who has an activity in here, he has to approve it. So the request for approval has been sent out. Inside the requester is going to see this information of what changes are being done on the Palo Alto or the Panorama device. And once that is executed, it will automatically be deployed on the actual device. So now we see web server three being deployed on Panorama and it will be pushed out um, through the configuration uh, or the scheduled config sync inside of Panorama. And utilizing really the power of ServiceNow and this simple flow designer um, really allows us to kind of start elevating or adding more automation um, using the tools we have in our enterprises to update or really eliminate those simple tasks that can take a couple hours, um, one to two hours, maybe five, 10, 15 tasks a week uh, to update uh, firewall policies. We can now do this through ServiceNow, include all that uh, change management, ticketing, and approval process that we really want. So with that, thanks a lot. Uh, please subscribe and hope you like this video.